On its third test flight, the biggest rocket ever built flew farther and faster than ever before. Hot staging confirmed. Starship performing critical tests and sending back stunning images, breaking apart 45 minutes into flight on re-entry. The SpaceX flight comes as 12 new astronauts earned their wings, with NASA preparing for some very big missions ahead. Hopefully some of these men and women you see on stage set their footprints on the moon. Artemis II Commander Reed Weissman will lead the crew that loops around the moon in 2025. By the end of the decade, future astronauts will use Starship to land on the moon. New astronaut Dr. Chris Williams. Have you dreamed of being among the first to return to the moon? I absolutely hope it's me and, uh, you know, and that I get the chance to do that. Under Artemis, an Orion space capsule will carry astronauts to a new space station called Gateway, already under construction. This is Gateway, the space station that will eventually orbit the moon. On board, four of these modules will host four crew members working and living on the station and sending astronauts from here down to the lunar surface. A sort of floating mothership. Eventually, all four will go down, and then they'll come back and forth from here to uh, get ready to go down to the surface or return home. Perhaps one day, Starship will carry astronauts even further. Air Force fighter pilot and new astronaut Nicole Ayers. As a little kid, I used to say I'm going to be the first person on Mars. So even as a little child, I, I had the Mars uh, idea for the dream. And do you still? Of course, <laughs> definitely. But before Mars, the moon is calling. Tom Costello, NBC News, Houston. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.